Okay, well, there was a couple of mosquitoes there actually this time, but I guess last time we camped it wasn't freaking almost 90 degrees either. I'm gonna go out and try uh, find a couple walleyes here for supper. On this little hump here, I noticed a couple marks when I was coming in, so I'm gonna scoot over that real quick and see if there's anything there. It'd be nice to snap up a couple walleyes right away and go out and do some scouting for some big stuff. Just kind of work the wind here. Maybe just try back troll on it a little bit. It's not very deep, maybe 11 feet or something like that. It looked like it was just a little bit of a side of a hump that there were some fish congregated on. That'd be something to catch a couple walleyes just right 100 yards from camp, not even. And there they are. Let's see what happens here. Fish on right there. It's not a bad one either. Might be too big to eat. Oh, feisty little walleye, like 100 yards from camp. Oh, it's a perfect, 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 but he might be too big. There's a walleye slot limit here on the Ontario side. Yeah, he's too big, 18 inch, we're gonna let him go back. That sucks. Get on him right from camp, but there's the hair too big. Just work our way back up there and see if there's one more up there. There must be a must be a bunch of bugs I see on the screen there. That's what's or bait fish or baby perch or something. It'd be about my luck. Snap one right away and then not get another one all night and it's too big to eat. Like I was saying, Ontario implemented a new rule this year. Uh, it's like 17.1 or 16.9 or, or something. So I just have my cut off at 16 and a half. That way I'm safe. Fish on the screen. All right, so it looks like uh, I'm gonna run them off of there, maybe. Just to, well, kind of improve my odds, which my odds are, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they're probably pretty good jigging, but I'm going to not drop this big old tube jig, but I'm gonna put on a little diving lure and troll around a little bit and hopefully snag a couple. And this is what I like to pull around, these little Berkeley flicker shads. Caught so many stinking walleyes on these over the years. It's just not even funny, just a little crayfish colored little shallow diver. I think I'm gonna probably try 12 to 14 foot range, I think. plan isn't going so hot right now. I feel I'm going over that point. Who would have thought I would have uh, snagged a couple here by by now. I should have never said that I was confident I could catch a couple this way. Usually this is very, very productive. Just trolling anywhere from 10 to 16 feet with one of these. Just trying to keep my speed 2 to 2.4, 2.5, not really marking a whole lot. Maybe that was just a fluke that one was sitting there on that hump. There we go, fish on right there. This probably is not an eater though. Right on the tip of that point, went out here on the kind of, on the main lake here in the wind. Don't feel as big now. Maybe, please don't be a bass, please be a, what a 15 or 16 inch walleye would be perfect. I don't think it's a bass because it ain't fighting like one so far. Ah, might be a little bit too big too. Ah, maybe that's, no, that's an eater. But 
that one is oh, 16 on the nose. So we do have one for supper tonight. Get him in the box. But just some of you are shaking your head at my little net here, my little trout net. That thing is so freaking handy. You wouldn't believe it. All right, let's catch one more, hopefully, then just fish for fun for a little while. Marking a few right here in 13 feet of water. I'd sit out here and jig too if we can get on some here. It's a little bit windier and a little bit rougher, but not too bad. Pull this crank out of here and see if I can connect with anything. There we go. Finally, boy, we trolled a long, long ways before. I'm starting to see some fish in the screen here now. We trolled a long ways before we finally hooked up again. Hopefully this one isn't that 16 inch, 15 inch. It can be a little bit smaller because we got one 16. Stand down, oh, that's a nice. Oh, he's just so barely hooked. So barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked. Oh yeah, he's the eater size. Ever so barely, that one's 16 and a half. Okay, we got supper. So now, Trolling is just not my favorite way of fishing at all, even though it's really effective and you can catch some really, really nice fish doing it. I really like jigging, drop shotting, slip bobber, that sort of thing. So I think we're gonna go and park on a couple of the top of these little humps here and see if we can't jig up a couple just for fun. Get set up on this uh, little hump right here. Wind straighten out the boat. Some some marks down there. Probably my favorite. Well, I don't know if it's my favorite time of year to fish. It's one of my favorites though when it's warm out in the evening. You come out here, a little bit of a breeze, no bugs. Oh, this season is so short up here. There's a lot of marks there. They should be biting. I have to switch, switch it up to a minnow profile here. Okay, so it appears that they're not really biting right now, but we're uh, starting to run out of sunlight. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna run in and get some uh, firewood gathered up, get a little fire going and fry me up a couple of walleyes. A little bit of oil. Did you think I was gonna actually uh, cook them on the campfire? I didn't bring all the stuff for that. Get this pan hot. Put just a, enough oil in it. I'd say she's hot. tough to get an even even burn here but it should work out pretty good now to get my plate I'm gonna say that's done well let's try it out
tastes like fresh island walleye to me. You know, this just takes me back to when I was a kid growing up on the farm. At least in the spring, summer, and fall. Sleeping out in the woods in a tree house and eating all kinds of crazy stuff. Walleye's not crazy, but I can come up to this place and have, you know, this view. You can't probably see it real great on a, girl, on a GoPro, but I can come up here and it doesn't cost a lot of money to come up here. You don't have to have a huge boat and just come up here and enjoy this. For uh, about eight bucks American, you get a camping permit and camp on these islands. Uh, certain ones you can't, but and uh, it's just I don't know. This is just the escape from the world, the greatest thing, the greatest thing on this earth for me. I'm gonna finish up my meal here, and get uh, the dishes done, cleaned up, and just sit by the fire and just take this in. I don't know if you can really see it. So good on the GoPro, but man, it is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. The bugs are basically non-existent and just enjoying a beautiful, beautiful evening on Lake of the Woods. Oh, well, fire going. I think I'm gonna get some coffee going and see what else happens. That is uh, kind of the morning things. As the, you can see, the sun is just above the, the water there. Bugs aren't very bad this morning. The wind is down. It's actually a really nice morning. But I'm going to get some, some coffee made, get some uh, oatmeal, breakfast made. Let's tidy it up a little bit and go out and try and run into some walleyes. Well, we were out on the water fairly early here. We're gonna go and uh, try to find some walleyes. I think I'm gonna go look on some deeper, some deeper flats and see what I can find. West wind this morning is ultra humid. It is really sticky. And uh, some storms supposed to brew up tomorrow. So I think we're gonna take a little run here and see if we can't find some. Just a little bit. Nice little flat here. Maybe a little bit cooler if I was in the wind, but it is uh, it's a little choppy out there. Finally hooked up with one. Little saw gog. All right, so I think we're gonna leave this spot. That's all we're gonna catch is these little guys. Kinda had a sneaking suspicion that's what it was gonna be. I was trying to play the wind today. I really wanna sit out in this size of boat and that size of waves. I think we'll uh, go nose around and see if we can't find a reef that's a little bit out of the wind or something. 
There, finally. Took long enough. Finally hooked up. Perfect. It's a good eater size. Been a little slow this morning. Tried a whole bunch of spots and not uh, come up with a whole bunch of uh, success, but finally on the board, let this guy go and uh, go back down there and try to get another one. I've fished a ton, ton, ton of spots, points, reefs trying to play the wind a little bit too i think probably the I saw a huge mark a minute ago but yeah trying to play the wind and i think probably this time of year with looks like all the fish are you know eating bugs probably pulling spinners would be probably a very effective method to target them but i did not bring any spinners with me and kind of went a little light on fishing gear on this one if I can just catch a coax a few to bite them. Marking pretty constant marking fish on this point here. Just kind of off of a saddle actually. Oh, missed. There's another one. Oh, lost them. Let's see if we can take it again. They've been biting really, really ultra light. There we go. There's one. Move just a little bit. There's a boulder down here, and I'm just trying to kind of circle this boulder. This one, I think I can, I can both flip this guy. Just a little one. So there must be uh, laying around this boulder, a little eater, and that for cover. So let's try to keep cir circling around that for a little bit. There's marking a lot of fish down there. You know, guys are probably screaming, why are you not using your live scope? Well, I found in uh, posting videos and stuff like that, that there's some people that are very against live scope and very vocal about it. So just kind of as a, oh, missed them. Just kind of as a, a tease, I've got it sitting here in front of me and I'm just not using it just for the, just for the fun of it. I probably will use it later today though it is a pretty cool uh pretty cool tool especially when they're biting slow like this you can it can really increase your odds of catching fish all right we're gonna give her one last whirl see if we can't get on a few here a reef system kind of open water a couple humps here fired up the light oh, there is actually a fish oh my gosh but he is uh, not looking very cooperative. Finally fired up the live scope. Oh, big fish. Big northern, big northern or a muskie. Turning, turning, turning. Just trying to check the weather forecast. Come on, fish, bite. Oh, that was nice. Oh. That's hateful. Well, that is one thing I do not like about live scope. Probably a mid 30s pike, I would imagine, or maybe a muskie came up. I probably shouldn't have moved that bait because he was moving in on it and then he just accelerated towards it and I moved it. I probably should have just left it alone. There, finally followed it up about eight feet. They're not super aggressive. It is a walleye though. Nice. Good eater. You can see he freaking probably followed it a long ways and finally just choked it. It's a five inch uh, plastic bait. A good eater size anyway. Uh, goes a long ways. Thanks for playing. Hopefully, you can get a few more. I see a couple fish every so often. I think I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit before I go and look around anymore. 
seems like it's uh, hanging that bait three feet off the bottom is what's attracting them and then give them a little jig and get them to chase it up. They're not uh, it's moving in and just smashing it, that's for sure. Not looking too good here. It's gotten ridiculous not being able to mark anything. I'm not sure quite, well it is mid-July, it's kind of the way it goes sometimes. If I was pulling spinners, I think I'd be doing a lot better, probably off in the mud around structure, but I did drive around structure a lot and, and didn't really see a whole lot, but a lot of times they're belly in the mud. The fish I cleaned last night were just full of, of bugs, so I guess that's what they're what they're after. We, we did catch a few, but not like I'd hoped, but I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. So if you made it this far, Thanks for watching, and we'll try and uh, make another video real soon.